In the previous video, we discovered this admin-only endpoint that looks quite interesting, right? Because this output, it's a lot of information about the system. And there is new line at the end, which suggests me that it executes a Unix command. And I think this is the name of the command. Here we go. And if you know your name, you can specify a minus A, which shows you all information about the system. And sure enough, we get close enough output, right? And let's try modifying this comment. For instance, let's say echo. And sure enough, we get output of echo comment. So basically here, we can specify any comment we want. Let's specify less. And now we can list all files and directories in the system. Well, in the current directory for now. So let's show us a lot of files that are in the root directory of the project. And the most interesting one for me, at least, .env, which shows, which has all environment variables for, for convenience. Well, for, for convenience, people create .env file, which specifies environment variables with secrets and all that stuff for this specific environment. And we actually can cut the chase and use env, I think. No, it doesn't work because we have this minus a flag. So let's focus on getting .env file. So if if we type cut.env, we actually cannot, well, we cannot use spaces here. So let's try your own coding it. Your own code all characters. Let's see if it works. Yeah, hey, here you can see, oh, well, it failed. But you can see that, sure enough, it was converted to URL decoded. So spaces are actually there. You can also, if you do, you cannot pass spaces for some reason into the comment, you can use LFS, which is, well, if I go into echo LFS, you can see that, oh, well, you, you can see nothing because it's a whole bunch of it's space, new line, well, invisible symbols, ASCII symbols, I think. And yeah, it, it, it usually should work. Um, so now what we have issue with is that we try to cut .env and then this file. So .env file exists, we output it, but then this file doesn't exist and then cut fails. And because cut fails, uh, the backend application receives uh, a non-zero exit code, 127, it even says us which one. And it, it just returns it without the output. So we need this comment to succeed. I think the easiest way to do that is to make this a part of comment. So we will add here, what a sharp close enough close enough let's try using space here ah uh, convert selection URL we got all characters that I'm we have all secrets, JVT secret, Mongo local connection, this password and all that stuff. Beautiful. So this is, this called remote comment execution, remote code execution. Perfect. 